Welcome to Coffee Break. Five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. We continue our verse-by-verse study through the book of Psalms here on Five Minute Coffee Break. Today we pick up our study in Psalm 55, verse 9. The Bible says, Destroy, O Lord, and confuse their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about it upon the walls. Mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. Sounds like modern America to me. Sounds exactly the way it is in the world today. Society is going down the drain, and David doesn't know what to do about it other than pray, which is good. It's going down the drain. David doesn't want to be around it anymore. When society begins to lose whatever regard for God it once had, it makes God's people long even more for their eternal home in heaven. Makes heaven look better. Verse 12, For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it, neither Neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hidden myself from him. Being hurt by a friend or a family member is a lot harder to swallow than being hurt by someone else. It cuts deep, very deep. Because family, friends, they're supposed to be the first line of defense in this world that is filled with so much bad. 13, but it was thou, a man mine own equal, my guide and my familiar friend. It was someone he trusted. It was completely unexpected. And that's what made it so hard. Some of you know what that's like. You've been betrayed, cheated on by someone that you would have sworn that you could trust for the rest of your life no matter what. And they violated that trust. They took advantage of your trusting them. And they betrayed you. And it's and it cuts deep. Verse 14. We took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. It's even worse. When the one who hurts us says they're they're a Christian. Spiritual friendships are the deepest friendships. And that's why when treachery tears them apart, they hurt the most. When treachery tears that kind of friendship apart, it tears deep. 15. Let death seize upon them. And let them go down alive into Sheol, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. He hates sin, just like God hates sin. And he looks forward to the day when it's gone and sinners who do not repent are gone as well. And that will be the case. Someday they will never be seen again. They will never cause trouble again. 16, as for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. It's not good to spend too much time thinking about how bad some people are or the bad things that people have done to you. It's better to focus on our walk with the Lord and find encouragement and joy in fellowshipping with Him. And I'm going to stop right there. If you want to study the whole Bible with me, do it at thebibleversebyverse.com, all 66 books using my audio Bible messages, just like today. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me, pray for God's word. 
Click the donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. And until next time, so long.